Here is the Bialetti Mako Express in a 6 cup capacity, which is one of the 9 best camping stovetop percolators that I review on this channel as part of my camping percolator series. I know the Bialetti Mako Pot isn't your typical coffee percolator, but I think it's still classified as one, so I'll just put it through my standard percolator tests like brew time, usage, capacity, and more. Here's my 6 cup Bialetti Mocker Express and here are my personal measurements of it. Length from the most curved part of the handle to spout about 7 inches or 18 cm. Vertical length of handle about 3.5 inches or 9 cm. Diameter of lid about 4 inches or 10 cm. Diameter of base 4 inches or 10 cm. Height from base to top 8 and a quarter inches or 21 cm. Weight 577 grams or 20.4 ounces. For a size comparison, here's what the Bialetti Mocha Pot looks like beside a 32 ounce and a 16 ounce Nalgene bottle from the side and from the top, and it's made in Italy. First, fill the boiler up to just below the safety valve. I use regular tap water, but you can use preheated water for a better tasting coffee. Then fill up the filter with medium fine to medium ground coffee to the brim without tamping or packing it too tightly. Next, make sure that there are no grounds on the edges before placing it on top of the boiler. Place the collector on top and screw it in tightly before placing it on the stove on medium heat. When you hear the gurgling of the Bialetti, turn off the fire, take it off the stove and run it under cold water. You can then pour it out to drink, add hot milk to make lattes or just hot water to make it less concentrated. When I poured water into the boiler to this marked line, which is just below the safety valve, I measured it to be about 10 or 11 ounces. As for the coffee grounds, it was about 26 to 27 grams, which is about 0.92 to 0.95 ounces. Since this is a 6 cup Bialetti Mocker Express, I could brew only 6 cups of concentrated coffee, no more and no less. Any less can alter the taste of the coffee due to over extraction. For brew time, it took the Bialetti Mocha Express about 5 to 5.5 five minutes for coffee to slowly ooze into the collector, and it took just 8 minutes and 15 seconds for the coffee to finish brewing. These are estimates and can change depending on different factors like the temperature of your water, the surrounding temperature, the amount of heat you use, and stuff like that. I used tap water at room temperature and brewed the coffee on medium heat. The Bialetti Mocker Express has two marked lines on the inside of the boiler. This shows the maximum capacity, which is the water level below the safety valve, so there's no need to measure the specific amount of water that you put in. The handle of the Bialetti Mocker Express is nicely sized and ergonomic, but seems a bit small if you have larger hands. It's heat resistant and was always cool to the touch. This black knob on the lid is also heat resistant and was never hot even though I kept using it to check on the coffee during the brewing. It's pretty stable on the stove. And lastly, there are no grinds in the coffee because there is this installed filter at the bottom of the collector, so no need to use additional coffee filter paper or anything like that. To clean up, just toss the grinds and rinse the Bialetti Mocker Express with clean warm water. You can use your fingers to remove any residue, and I found that it's super easy to clean even the coffee bean oils with just warm water. It is recommended to not use detergent and to never wash this in a dishwasher. The collector, boiler, and filter of the Bialetti Mocker Express are made of aluminum, while the handle and lid knob are made of hard plastic. The finish on the outside is pretty good, I've had this for a few years now and it's still holding up well. The finish on the inside of the boiler isn't the best and it looks fairly stained after frequent usage. The finish of the collector is good though and I keep it clean. Also, I think my gasket is pretty worn out so a tiny bit of water will leak out from here during the brewing. It wasn't like that when I first started using it though. Thankfully though, you can buy replacement gaskets separately for like a dollar or at most two dollars. Overall, I feel like these issues aren't that bad and the Bialetti Mocker Express is fully functional and is of good quality. For pros, compared to my other camping percolators, the Bialetti Mocker Express is much more user-friendly. There's no need to measure the amount of coffee or water, there are no grounds in the coffee, it's much easier to clean and the brew time is much faster. It's also good quality, made in Italy, and is holding up well after years of frequent usage. I only have to replace the gasket, but other than that, it's all good.
As for cons, for a six cup mocha pot, I could brew only six cups of concentrated coffee, and this will result in a extraction. So there's not a lot of versatility with the capacity on days that you might want to drink less. Also, I think that some of my other camping percolators make slightly better tasting coffee, but I'm no coffee expert and this is quite subjective, so feel free to ignore this. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button so this video can be seen by more people. Thank you and I really appreciate it. Would I recommend the Bialetti Mocha Express over your traditional camping coffee percolator? I think that depends on your priorities. If you're looking for something that's easy to use and easy to clean, I think the Bialetti beats your traditional camping percolator hands down. I love that you don't have to worry about grounds in your coffee, using filter, coffee and water measurements amongst a lot of other things. But before you take this camping, just bear in mind that this can't be used over a campfire. And you always have to brew six cups of concentrated coffee, no more and no less. If you're okay with that, I think this is a pretty good coffee maker to take camping. How does the Bialetti Mocha Express stack up against other popular camping percolators and other aspects though? To find out, check out this video where I bought, tested, and compared 9 of the best camping percolators. If you prefer to read, my website at campingguidance.com has all this info as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.